Hi guys, it's Jamie from PMR. In front of you is a Shimano Torium. And hopefully somewhere here it will say, there you go, 14. Now, this has been sent to me by uh, Tim Sexton in uh, Ireland and he wants me to make it go faster and be more controllable because he wants to use this for casting on the beach. Now, I will tell you, actually no, I won't tell you, I'm just going to show you. This is loose at the moment. Now, some people will say centrifugal brake blocks. No centrifugal brake blocks are active. There's no mechanical brake in there at all. It's loose. And, yeah, that's what you get. So first of all, I'm going to make this a little bit faster. I'll be back. OK, I'm back with this. And um, yeah, it's about two weeks later. <laughs> it's taken me a while. In actual fact, that two weeks is probably three. And Tim's going to be pulling his hair out. But um, I've taken it apart. I've uh, replaced the bearings. Now there's a story. And uh, it's got a couple of little titanium parts in there. And there's a couple of other things I've done. It's a bit of a, a cross between um, old school tuning and 21st century technology. Now, as you remember, this thing ran for about five minutes, five minutes, about five seconds, and then it just stopped. It was doing nothing so yeah now that's uh, somewhat better if you see what I mean yeah and give it another spin now what I have to do <laughs> I have to now put a brake in this to stop it because uh, this is now a really, really fast casting reel, but it's wild, no control. So, step three, 12 mil mono mag. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So, yeah, that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? And what does it do? Right, all the way out with this particular mag in play. There you go. That's all the way out. Yeah, that's plenty fast enough. But when it's in, when it's in, one, two, three well two and a half okay so what did I do and yeah this also has meaning we'll get to that so I've put crown screws on these are the crown screws that I normally use on a, a Dio 7HT but with a little collar on them they fit the Shimano. Yeah. Okay. Let's pull that out. There you go. One 12 mil magnet. It is. With. Lots of mag travel. But I've also done Tim a 10mm. And the reason that we've done the 10mm is because this really does have excellent, excellent, excellent braking. It's the sort of thing you're going to use midwinter. But in a nice day in the summer, you might just want to get a little bit more out of the reel. Therefore, the 10mm can replace the 12mm. 
And when the 10mm replaces the 12mm, obviously there is less braking and even more distance. But uh, not a good idea to use this in the winter time. Now, <clears throat> I've also tuned this, and I will tell you that there are there's bits of titanium in here. I will pull this out and tell you that it was fun trying to get that pin out. I actually made myself in the end a little pin removal tool and here is the removal tool that I made and basically that goes over that like that and then as you can see the hole in the bottom there it slides in like that and then by winding this up if you can see that there that then engages the pin like that and will push the pin out. Now, some people will tell you you can take it out the pin with a pair of pliers. That's not a good idea because when you're taking this out, this, if this bends just the tiniest little bit, that's the end of your spool and you will need at that point to get another spool because the spindle and spool are all in one together. Now there are six brake blocks which are not active at the moment and I'm going to set two of them active before I send this back to Tim. This bit here has been polished. There is a little bit of titanium inside here and this little collar just here this bit here, that is also titanium. So, between old school 20th century tuning and modern twenty first century tuning, between the two of them, we've now got a reel, it's a boat reel, that when you want it to, will go like stink, and when you want to stop it, it stops. Tim, it's on the way back to you. I'm Jamie. Thank you for watching PMR, Pit My Room. We'll see you next time.